Hi, this is Don Samuels, council member for the 5th Ward, and this is my video update for the week. And I'm standing out here on 1st Avenue in downtown Minneapolis, 1st Avenue and 5th Street. You might see a light rail train going by. And this is pretty much the epicenter of um, uh, the clubbing activities on the weekends, and particularly on Sunday nights. Um, and I'm making this video downtown instead of uh, in the Fifth Ward or on Broadway or some other Northside community uh, venue because um, of the recent attention being brought to this area uh, from our Sunday night club, late night club activities. In fact, 80% of all the crime downtown is committed between 10 p.m. and 4 a.m in this area and violent crime has gone up 80 percent this year and and 80 percent of that is happening here and around this area and uh 60 percent of that 80 percent is happening uh on sunday nights and uh, when very few clubs relatively are open they're mostly open right on this block and the reason is that on sunday nights it's uh Youth night, basically. Uh, 8, 21 and under, up down to 18, can party uh, in, at the same venue simultaneously with the older party goers um, in these special youth nights or teen nights. And um, the, the mix of uh, older folks and uh, drinking and sometimes even drug use is causing a lot of problems for these young people who are not handling it well. There's, there's a lot of violence after the, par the clubs are closed on the sidewalks. And of course, there's a lot of people, there are a lot of young people hanging out, waiting for the clubs to be over so that they can just mingle out here on the streets. A lot of robberies take place during that time. A lot of cell phones get snatched and iPads. And that's led to an uptick in the violent crime of which um, robberies uh, are one and are accounting for the major parts of that. So what we're doing is we have met with the club owners, especially the ones who are experiencing these problems, uh, and uh, they've agreed that they're going to end Sunday night 21 and under club nights. That's going to stop now. They're also going to um, make sure that all of their security pass a background check, which has not been happening, and that they will wear uniforms, security guard uniforms, and they're also going to uh, look into sharing information of people who have created problems in clubs between the clubs so that they can basically ban troublemakers from coming into any of the clubs that are, are using the system. In addition, we're uh, introducing some ordinance changes to make it um, more force bar owners to be more compliant, to have uh, provisional plans that uh, upgrade their behaviors and make us able to hold them more accountable for these uh, uh, violations and so on. You come down here on a Sunday night and you're likely to see a combination of deputy sheriffs, maybe a dozen of them, 30 police officers, six horses. A mounted patrol and even a helicopter from the State Department shining spotlights down on the sidewalks. We've got uh, people from probation, we've got um, portable uh, spotlights and cameras. It's just an incredible overuse of resources that we cannot afford and yet there are fights and robbers. And so these steps we're taking are going to stop that and if it doesn't, then we're going to keep taking more steps until we solve this problem. This is important for the safety of our young people from the north side and young people from all over the city and the area who need to be safe when they're enjoying themselves. So um, that's what we're doing and I'll be talking to you soon and updating you on the progress. Take care.